I learned more on and off the court from Coach Blossom than than anybody else could have ever taught me. And so, um, you know, some of the most valuable lessons, like one was, um, you know, I was a guy that, like you said, I was a two-time All-State player, um, but he, he helped me realize that I wasn't above the program. The program was more important than any individual. And so um, that was something that obviously has gone a long way for me nowadays because I work with some of the best players in the world that get paid millions and millions and millions of dollars, but I have to help them understand that they are not more important than the franchise is. And when you can help kind of humble them or put them in the right situation, it puts them in the right mindset where then they can help get results for their teams. Whereas there's other superstars that don't buy into the franchise's program. And, and those are the ones that you hear about negatively in the media. Um, some of the things like fundamentals, you know, there was, when I came in as a freshman, I was really good offensively and could contribute right away on the offensive end, but defensively, I wasn't all the way in and he did not play me uh, in crunch time because he said, listen, if I can't trust you on the defensive end, then I, then I, yeah, I can't give you the minutes that you want. And while that frustrated me as, as a, as a youngster, it helped me realize the importance of a, a great coach is not a coach that does what you want to do. A great coach is somebody that gets you to do what you need to do. And now that's what I have to do. I have to be the guy that says, Hey, listen, I know you don't want to work on your left-hand layups because you're really talented. You can dunk the ball. You can finish with your right. But we need to add this element to your game so that you can take your game to the next level. Hey, I know that it's not fun working on containing ball screens, but if your coach can't trust you getting through ball screens in a game, he can't play you when it matters. So my job now is to help the best players find their weaknesses before other teams can expose mm. them in scouting reports. And Coach Blossom was, you know, did that to me, you know, exposing my defensive, uh, you know, accountability early on. And then uh, the last thing that I think is another valuable lesson was just the fundamentals. Like he basically had taught me from early age, if you master the fundamentals, then you can grow exponentially in so many different ways. But if you lack the fundamentals, then all those other aspects that you try to improve at are going to be a lot tougher. Not saying that you can't get good at them. It's just, it, it's not an efficient process. And those would be three big kind of uh, takeaways off the top of my head, but uh, I compliment Coach Blossom for, for a lot of things, but the biggest thing is just give me the right mindset moving forward of understanding that, um, you know, there's, there's a process to improve, and if you, if you buy into the process, you'll eventually get the results that you want.